I'm not gonna lie right now, I feel like so strange with my hair like this. I never have my hair slicked back, and now that I do, I'm like, who am I? <laughs> I just wanted to jump on here really, really, really quick and announce this new series that I'm starting. So I've been doing projects here, been doing projects there, in my kitchen, in my living room, in my bedroom, and it wasn't until recently that I did the one in my bedroom, which was my last video, the big glowing floating mirror, that I was like, all these DIY projects are amazing, but nothing is like being pulled together. So that's when I had the idea of starting a series for each room of my house. So I am starting with my master bedroom. And I am so excited about this because I have been wanting to do so much to my master bedroom, but I feel like I'm the type of person that's like, I get an idea in my head and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do it. So like when I like see an empty wall, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know what would look really good right here? I'm gonna DIY it. <laughs> so I feel like my mind is like all over my house and I'm doing stuff very spread out rather than just focusing on one room and making that one room come to life. So I am going to focus on my master bedroom and this is episode technically this is episode two because the mirror was the first DIY that I did to my master bedroom so just consider this the second one but this is the first official one that I am explaining to you guys they're gonna be little mini DIYs here and there and I'm gonna have some special guests during it too which I am pumped about so Let's get in to the very first master bedroom remodel episode uno. Woo! Hello. <laughs> what am I doing in the bathtub? Because yes, I am currently in the bathtub. <laughs> I was like about to film and I was like, um, you always film in your bedroom. Like the past like couple DIYs, I've just, I feel like I film in the same place and it is so bright in here, but it looks kind of pretty because of the rainbow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I just need to give you guys a little rundown because I'm letting you guys know right now this is not a professional video at all. There are many, 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 many different ways to paint furniture and this is probably one of the definitely, definitely one of the more like DIY videos I've done because I am trying to spend no money with this DIY by using things that I already have in the house. I do not have furniture paint. Yes, there is a specific paint for furniture, but I don't have that. I do have outdoor patio paint. <laughs> I am in no way telling you that this is better than furniture paint, but I am trying it because I was like, hey, I need a DIY and I don't want to spend any money, so I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> I also do not have a professional sander, like the one that you plug in and like sand the furniture. I don't have that. So I'm just using a thick grain sander that's like made of paper. <laughs> this might turn out terrible or it might work. So. Um, I'm just gonna kind of try it and let you guys watch me try it and if it works awesome if it doesn't I'm the one trying it not you so yeah <laughs> this is definitely more of an experimental DIY than a hey you try it too <laughs> my furniture just looks super yellow so it's like an off-white but a Actually at nighttime it looks so 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 yellow and I cannot stand it I'm gonna update the door the knob somehow I don't know how yet but you guys are gonna come along with me and kind of decide on how I'm gonna do that as well it's not professional it's not the correct way to do it and if it's gonna work that's awesome if it's not oh well <laughs> let's get Okay, so you guys can see here clearly that this is the white that I want it to be and this is the yellow that it currently is. So the first thing I have to do is clean this out, which I am very afraid of. So wish me luck. <laughs> so I probably should go into the garage, but am I going to? No. So I brought some plastic in here. Just gonna plop it right there and I have all of my supplies right there. I'm going to start by just wiping this down with some Clorox wipes and giving it a really good clean. Okay, so next up is getting a like really thick grained sandpaper. This is super, super, super thick. So I feel like this is gonna fit as close to an electric sander as possible. Um, 
I'm gonna start with the inside and then work my way out. foam roller for like the big areas so like here and like the legs just to smooth it out a little bit so that it doesn't look streaky so I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll do the second coat this cut is fresh. okay guys so Paxton woke up just in time I just finished the second coat and so I did two coats and then I did one coat with like the foam roller just to smooth it out a little bit because it was starting to look a little streaky so um, I'm gonna go get him and I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's dry Okay, guys, it's time to tackle this beast <sighs> The worst part about this Was cleaning out the drawers that is now on my bed <laughs> But I already talked to my husband and he was gracious enough to be like babe Don't organize it by yourself. I'll come home and we'll organize together and I was like But really, <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave this and I'm gonna tackle this beast. Um, I'm using the exact same method that I did for my side tables. Okay, let's do it, let's just start standing. <gasps> Currently in the mess craziness I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do for the handles and I hate how bulky they are they just look very like 11 year old which makes sense because I got this when I was 11 <laughs> I don't know why but these just like thinner and metal just seem so much better like by themselves so I'm just gonna reattach them and they're just gonna kind of stick out by themselves and I think that's way I don't know I just like it so much more so we're just gonna pop them all out and screw them right back in the easiest thing ever okay guys so I basically just removed they were so easy you just pop them out I removed all of the black metal pieces from these big bulky things so now I'm just gonna attach them to the thing. made the dressers look so much more modern so I'm very excited it is a amazing start to where I want to take my master bedroom I'm thinking of doing a video where I like 
give an update on all the projects I've done because I know some of you don't have Instagram but if you do have Instagram I do updates on all of my projects on how they're doing how they're holding up on Instagram under the DIY highlight in my on my main page so you can go there and if you don't have Instagram don't worry I'm gonna be doing a video soon after this project of like a combination video of all my projects on how they're doing how they're holding up if I think you should do it if I think you shouldn't do it I'll let you know in that video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm so pumped I am so pumped for this series and I hope you guys are too the next video that I'm filming for this series I am so so excited about it's totally out of my comfort zone and I'm inviting somebody to come help me because I have no idea what I'm doing so look forward to that one and next week guess what's coming model home tours episode two so much fun stuff I love you guys I hope that you guys are enjoying my videos and if you are give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me along on this journey this DIY crazy insane journey <laughs> Okay, guys, I will see you in the next video. Buh. Bye. 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 Bye.